Ah, I'm on the wrong system, that's fine. There we go. Sol. Right, it's a Berlin. Berlin's over here. So we've found about three jump points so far in Sol. We need to find the others. So I'm going to keep them going over, man. Right, we'll issue orders to the Berlin so when it's starting to run out of fuel or etc, etc, it'll go back to Earth. Right, um, fuel's less than 30%, I guess. Go back and refuel. Refuel the colony. Then supplies as well, then at least we're not running out of anything like that. So supplies less than 20%. Resupplied colony. There we go. You can keep that up, Berlin. Clock is about 0.80, so it's not that bad. Radio. I might redesign the engines completely, actually, make them a lot lighter. I mean, my engines are about, um, how, how big are they now? They're about 1,500 tons, aren't they? Or something like that. Right, so we completed that research into maximum engine modifier, that's great. Washington's carry on. Geological survey. God damn it, Washington. You have gone back and reset, haven't you? I'm not entirely sure, so I'm going to cancel those orders and make sure it goes back. I, I don't trust it. It's been there long enough. Right, so we'll cancel those orders. You are going to Earth, son. Go back. Yeah, you've definitely not completed those orders. Refuel, resupply, extended order. That's what you need, son. Ah, a civilian mining colony has been established on Tritania. Ah, that's what I was going to do quite some time ago, but yeah... I'm happy to have them do it for me. Right, the Brunei only has about 90% uh, fuel. So we'll issue orders for it to go back and refuel. Right. Fuel less than 20%. Refuel colony. Supply points less than 20%. Resupplied colony. There we go. Should be good now. How are we getting on then on Lupical? We have 160 infrastructure, so we could support, um, alright, population supported by infrastructure is 0.42, we could. Right, so we're going to need 377 infrastructure before we can support a million people. We have about 320,000 here now, so that's good for us. Annual growth rate is about 10% right now. Okay. Do we have anything here yet? No. We need to get something here, then. I really could have done with more blue knives. How are we actually going with those civilian contracts? I thought... I may have done it the wrong way around, actually. We'll try it another way around, just in case. No civilian construction. Okay, so we'll add some... Well, we'll take a look at this. So supply and demand, we're not seeing anything here. So I guess it didn't work like that. So we'll go back to uh, Lubricol. Right, no, it... How's that then? Okay. Well, we'll try supply in there. Maybe it works the other way around. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? But we'll try another 100 automated mines and we'll demand 180 100 automated mines. And then hopefully it should do it. Well, we'll cancel the demand for now because that hasn't done anything, has it? So we'll try this. Genetic modification center. Goddamn. Again, I'll outswitch up in here. There we go. Do, 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 do. Uh, I'm still trying to think what I want for my fighters. I think fighters might be something near the future, but it would be handy to have them. It's just uh, so much to design, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, Brunei completed orders. 25 inactive labs on Earth. Oh, did I miss something? I must have done. 
Right. Oh, right, yes, we completed the um, engine power, that's it. So put people into making the engines more efficient with the fuel, which is just going to be overall better. It's going to make everything better. And god damn, we need somebody else in that project. We need so many more scientists, just better scientists in general, just need so many of them. Right, the Brunei should be fine. Brunei. Right, your orders have been cancelled, that's irritating us all hell. Okay, so we'll have to give you those orders again, so we'll have you pick up. I could have it carry, uh... Hmm. No, it's not... Well, maybe, maybe. I, I'm thinking about maybe having it carry automated mines to... The... I could actually load colonists as well. No, I can't. Can I? Surely not. I don't have any space for them, do I? I don't have any capacity, so that'll just create a problem there. So we'll not bother with that crap, then. We'll load, um... Right, do we have any automated mines on Earth? I started constructing some, I don't know if we have any. Right, so we have two civilian mines over here and a civilian mine on Shretania. Right, on Earth we have only about three automated mines, so nothing really. Enough at all. Right. Okay. Well, we do have the normal mines. Which could be quite handy. Maybe carry a few of those over, but I think we need to carry that um, infrastructure over first. And then at least with the infrastructure over there, we can support a population that's going to continually grow. So we'll just do the infrastructure for now. So load infrastructure. And uh, transit. Unload infrastructure. Transit. Yeah, this is going to become quite convoluted in the future. Load infrastructure, unload infrastructure. Then uh, that should work out fine, so we'll put on cycle move. It has orders when it fuels less than 20%, etc. But to go back. So that sounds good. Okay. Really want some more military ships now. I really want to get into building a military. We're in 2068, and yeah, I, I I need a military. I absolutely need one. We are not going to be waiting much longer. Ah, do, 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 do. I need that. <laughs> I see. I say need a lot, but I really do need that um, engine fuel efficiency because it's going to really allow for our ranges to increase just dramatically ranges for everything missiles and just engine ships just everything's going to increase okay okay mm -hmm. ah sweet right we do have a little bit of um, unrest on lubricant due to overcrowd and so yes we definitely do need to get that infrastructure there it should be fine. We should be able to deal with it. And there's not that many people there. Right, they're loading trade goods. Let's take a look at this then. Ah, they are taking infrastructure as well. Fantastic. That's really good. They've definitely expanded quite heavily. I could give them some more wealth and then they'll keep growing. So I think I will give them another 10,000... So we have about uh, three ships carrying colonists and then the other ships seem to be like cargo. But that's good then. At least the civilian sector is definitely helping us out there. Okay. We can close down Ross 128 for the time being. But that population is growing rapidly. Right. The growth rate now is in minus 28.88 due to the fact that we don't have enough infrastructure on the planet. So, uh, ooh dear. It'll happen. It'll happen. But we'll get over it. Mass driver capacity, 10,000 tons per year. Interesting. And your wealth creation. Uh, right, we have our wealth over here, but we're spending a hell of a lot of our wealth, aren't we? That might be due to the fact that I'm actually subsidizing the company, so... We might just have to ignore that one for the time being. We do have a hell of a lot of well, infrastructure on Earth that we need to take out. 
fuel available, maintenance supplies available. We need to produce more maintenance, really. And we can support uh, maintenance about 33, well, 30,000 tons, so that's pretty nice. Okay. Keep that going. Come on, stop being annoying like that. Washington, have you only just made it back to Earth? God damn. Why was your speed so low? That's strange. Okay. Oh, God damn it. They take so, so freaking long to detool. It's absolutely insane. Right, we have this over here that's just been finished. I'm going to rename this. Uh, rename Shipyard. I don't know. Auto rename. Glover Generals. Okay. Right, just keep adding some capacity. We'll go to about 150,000 tons on these. Then that should be big enough in the future for pretty much everything that we're going to need. Okay. How is our tech progressing? Yeah, it's going to be a while before a lot of these projects are completed. This project, goddamn, is going to take so goddamn long. But it's a huge project to begin with anyway. So there's not much that can be done for it. Electronic warfare. You're taking a lot longer than I thought you were going to. 2117. Bloody hell. Good luck with that one, Naomi. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm just looking for the missile. Con well, the missile de designs now. Oh my god, I just can't speak English today. <laughs> I apologize. Right, missile engine. Well, we have the engines, fine. I, We might have um, the fuel consumption that we can take a look at. Hmm. Oh, a space liner. Sweet. Alright, unrest decreased by 1.2828. That's good. Yeah, I need to think about building a troop transport. And then at least we can start deploying some troops over there. And at least uh, keep the unrest under control. Fuel consumption. I think our current um, consumption on the missile engines is maybe about 0.8. Possibly in that region. Hmm. Mm, right, we'll take a look at actually redesign this then. Uh, how much uh, does it, would it cost us to actually get the uh, new warhead? Right, so the fusion based fission warheads are 8,000 research points. That's really bloody expensive. So I'll launch a reload rate. I'd, I'd love that in the future. Okay. We'll take a look at our engines then. We'll redesign our missile engines and just missiles from the ground up then, just so we know what we're doing. So I need a missile engine. I want my missiles to be faster. More agile. So I think we research the brand new agility as well, which should be quite handy. Okay. So uh, 0.1 MSP, yep, yep. Put this up here. Ah, now we could actually make these engines uh, quite a bit faster. Because we have that engine power point uh, 2.50, they should be faster to begin with. Alright. Fuel consumption. 0.7, yeah, that's what we're working with at the moment. Okay. 
We'll see how this comes out then. So we'll create that project there. And then I'll assign some scientists to research that project. Ah, uh, what about is it? Oh, it's on power propulsion, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Well, it's only 10, so I can take one lab off and it'll be done. So I'll take one lab from here. Um, power propulsion, Sophia Davidson. At least that gives her some experience as well. So we'll have 30 days tick by. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I really want to have um, really, really decent anti-missile missiles because I'm absolutely terrified of the missiles. <laughs> right, a new jump point has been found in the solar system. Interesting. Okay. Construction of the commercial shipyard has been finished on Earth. Brilliant. So let's see what we can do on Earth now with that industry. Uh, we'll start working on those automated mines and then at least we could uh, start sending those out to Europacal. Right. So I'll issue orders for the Berlin to come back. So we'll remove those orders. Right, that should be good. Okay, so come back to Earth. Um, your clock is okay, I guess, for the time being. Right, refuel. Then we'll have you and the Marathon set off and we'll go and explore that other jump point. So jump point five. We'll see what we can find. Oh no, we do have a few of the jump points located, don't we? Have Proxima Centauri, Lul, uh, Lumen 16, Ross 128, Wolf 359. So at least we're doing decent there. Okay. Keep that going. Damn, I should have actually completed uh, the other designs, but oh well. I don't think our uh, 10 research project, well, 10 research point projects actually been completed in a month, which is really surprising. I really would have thought it'd been a much shorter project. It, well, like 10 days or something like that. Ah, well. I suppose we have only given them like one lab, haven't we? <laughs> there we go, so that's finished. Stop these un uh, these uprisings. I mean, god damn it, people. Right, we finally finished that. That took a lot longer than I would have expected, to be honest. But at least we can work on the missile now. So we'll go over here then. So we have our new one, don't we? So that was that one. At least I have No, 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 never mind. Wrong one. Right, 0.2. There we go. Damn it. 0.2. There we go. Okay. So we'll put on four engines like the design indicated for me. Total engine power is about 0.8, which is okay. So I think we can get to about uh, 0.3, so we'd save a little bit of weight over there then. 0.2. Right, agility. This is where it's going to be interesting. 0.48. Okay, so we can't do that. 0.3. 0.2. 0.28. So 0.28, we get a missile that goes about 16,000 kilometers per second. So that's um, that's a few thousand kilometers faster than the other ones, but their range is shorter due to that. Now, that's okay. Hmm. I do like the fact that they're faster. But I think we might have to think about this again in the future. Well, let's take a look then if we were using the other engines. We'd only get uh, 12,800. Interesting. But we'd have the same range, of course. Hmm. It's not really any better off than the other one, isn't it? I mean, we'd only get the increased speed, but we'd lose that range. We'd lose quite a few kilometers of range. Which, arguably... Doesn't particularly matter too much for a anti-missile missile with a range, but it's because you're not going to get a bunch of range on them anyway. Right, let's go back over to our energy weapons and um Mason focal size could be quite good. Mason focusing technology. 
Okay. Turret tracking speed. That's really good as well. Spinal mount. One energy weapon per ship may be designated as a spinal mount. This can uh, be up to two sizes larger. Right, that's our Mason cannon over there. Right. I think we'll go for the smallest caliber Mason cannon, but at least we can make the fighters fairly small, so we'll go for this then. Connor Donnelly. Oh, we do have Freya over here. She's working on the fuel consumption, which is not exactly great, is it? So we'll cancel that project and we'll have her work on her actual proper thing. So if you can cancel that, please. Right, there we go. So Freya. Work on this Mason cannon. There we go. We'll continue with the fuel efficiency later. It shouldn't take any more than anything more than a month, really. Okay. Well, at least if we work on these Mason cannons, we can think about adding them to our designs. Then that should work out quite nicely. Ideally, we want to have Mason cannons with uh, really good long range. Right, the Berlin has completed orders. That took a lot longer than I would have expected it to, really. Right, Glorify 21 has increased to 45%. That's really good. So our um, diplomatic team is actually quite handy. Oh, actually, something that we do need to make as a priority to research is troop transport. Right, so that should be done in just over a year at current rates. Unless we got somebody who's even better in power propulsion. Like 10%, that's 35%. There's nobody better than him right now. Okay. So we'll remove the labs from here. We'll remove four labs from here. And we'll take a look at... Uh, is it construction production? No, it'll be logistics. Logistics slash crown, uh, ground combat. Now let's see. Mobile infantry. Italian. Small troop transport bay, enough to go transport a marine company. A battalion. We'll go for a battalion. Right, Aaron Davidson. That'll just take a little while. Not that long, I guess. So we've got Graham Rich to, uh, well, Graham Rich the second working on the uh, Tokamak fusion reactor. Which, ah, oh god, I need that. I just need that to start uh, getting into the next level of technology. Once we're there, we'll know we're there. I think once we do have that Nestle of Avenging technology, I think I will definitely take a look at my ships. I might really look at increasing the size of my ships. I mean, um, we could have a command ship, possibly about 20,000 tons. Something like 20,000 tons. We'd need a military jump engine of about, uh, I don't know, size 30, 34, something up there. I think that might be like the 20,000 range. Whoa, we just had so much. Wow. God damn, that was a big... <laughs> a... Oh, hello! Hello, what do we have here? We have something geological in nature, do we not? We do indeed. Let's take a look at that one. I'm really actually quite excited about this one. Right, so, um, geology. Well, if we go to the events, we can see. Right, race colors. Okay, so these are all officer updates. Where's my geology updates? Mineral deposits. Ooh. Right, so a deposit of 12,960,000 macassium has been found on Alpha Centauri A3. And then we found 11,902,500 tons of Venderite. Are you kidding me? That is insanity. That is insane. This world is just... So we have geranium, we have neutralium, boronide, sorium, uridium, gallicide, macassium, venderite. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 minerals out of the 11 so far. That's incredible. I should really have the uh, infrastructure sent to this world as soon as possible, because this world is just incredibly good. My, 
My god. Right, so I think there's a maximum amount of oxygen, so if we take a look, um... Geostasis. Not what I'm looking for. Ban body. Change image. Let's go over to this then. Environment. Okay. Atmospheric pressure is 2.03. Right, so I think there's actually too much oxygen on this world. Terraforming. Anti greenhouse gas, safe, how, uh, safe greenhouse gas, so that raise temperature. Yeah, just look at all these goddamn things that we could add here. We could even add water. Hydrogen. Uh, what's the actual atmospheric composition of Earth? So it's a lot of nitrogen. So we have about 79% hydrogen here. It's about 26%, well, it's about 20% oxygen on Earth. So it's really the fact that we have 6% more oxygen than we need. Right, so on Earth we have argon, but here we have neon. So that's one of the noble gases that's different. Then. So we could add that to the atmosphere. Hmm. We need to design a terraforming rig, don't we? Because if we did that, if we did increase the amount of, uh... Yeah... Yeah, I mean, if we increase the amount of nitrogen on Alpha Centauri A3, then we could definitely make that just, just active, just, well, just completely... fine. It's just a problem that we have too much oxygen at the moment. Other than, I mean, it's not a bad problem to have, I suppose. I mean, it's probably a bad problem because you can't breathe it properly, but, you know. Uh, okay, well, I'm on the wrong thing here, right, design. So we'll take a look at the Masons. Right, so we'll take a look at turrets. There we go. Now, how many barrels do I really want on this thing? I think probably about twin barreled. That generally works out quite well. I mean, we could have about 25,000, as per usual. Yeah. So, yeah, we'd be able to track fairly well. I don't know how much, thing, how much this would actually weigh. It would have a power requirement of 6, that's quite a large power requirement. If it was a single, it would have about 3. Something to take into account, though, if we were going to mount this in a fighter, isn't it? Okay. I think I really generally want to have um, increased range. So we need better fire control, we need just better energy weapons. Right. Was that Freya who finished that? Yes, that was Freya. Okay. So we'll take a look at the focus size, then. And we'll see if we can increase those. Right. Ah... Tracking speed. That's something we need to take a look at in the future. Right, we do have the lasers, of course. Mason focusing. Now that increases the range. That increases the actual size of the thing, so probably how much damage it actually would do. Okay. We'll go for the focusing technology. We can increase the range, then uh, run to a good good little thing there. Right, we'll keep that going. So I might um, load out our new uh, destroys in the future of the Mason Cannons. We could make uh, the room for it, I suppose, somehow. Possibly redesigning our actual engines and making them a little bit lighter. I mean, the um, actual ships themselves will probably only ever travel at the speed of the fastest of the squadron, so I mean, like, well, the slowest of the squadron. So I think in the following month we'll take a look at redesigning our engines and try and make them as absolutely... Oh, we've got another colony ship here, another huge one. Nice. Right, the crew of the Berlin. Ah, right, I need to send them through, actually. Ah, not finding any more deposits, but that's great that they found two huge deposits, two more huge deposits. Incredible. Right, so the ghost of Proxima. Oops. 
ghosts. There's the 